What's up guys, Jamie here. Thanks for joining me in today's video. I'm just gonna hop on my computer, go through a couple of uh, calculations that you need to know if you're an affiliate marketer. And I think that a lot of people when they come into this industry don't really get a full sense of why these numbers are so important. So stick around, I'm gonna go through that in a moment. Before I do though, if this is the first time on the channel, I'd like to say a very warm welcome to you. My name's Jamie, I cover internet marketing, affiliate marketing, how to get started online. I specialize in the conversion of high ticket affiliate marketing products. So if any of that's of interest to yourself, I invite you to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to smash that bell icon to stay up to date with everything I'm putting out. Anyway, I will uh, catch you guys in a moment. Just gonna jump on my laptop and look forward to catching up with you then. Cheers. Hey, welcome back guys. Thanks very much for joining me. It's Jamie here once again. All right, so what I'm gonna go through today is some mathematics you need to know if you're an affiliate marketer. Now, this doesn't matter if you are brand new to the industry. In fact, if you are brand new, I'd really encourage you to keep watching. Uh, and also, if you have been around for a little while and you've been focusing on the wrong things, then hopefully I'm gonna be able to dispel some of the uh, myths out there regarding the industry and what you should be focusing on. So to paint a little bit of a back picture for you guys, I did what uh, the opposite of what I'm about to tell you guys for many years. And it's probably why it took me around about seven and a half to eight years to actually get any decent traction in my business. So now I'm very uh, fortunate. I have $1,000 days, $2,000 days, right up to as much as $5,000 days. And I don't say that to brag. I say that because realistically, when I started focusing on the right numbers, that is when my business started turning around. And if you follow what I'm about to tell you guys here, uh, hopefully you're going to be able to start seeing some of those bigger numbers coming up uh, a lot sooner than it took me, like I say, seven and a half years. Wow, what a ride. Um, anyway, so here's what happens for most affiliate marketers coming into this industry. Uh, I guess a lot of the time it is attached to a belief system. Now I'm going to use some round numbers just as an example here, because despite the fact I worked in finance for nearly eight years, I, uh, I can't actually add to save myself. So there you go, nice big round number. So what most affiliates do is they will stick with what we refer to as low ticket affiliate products. Now, these are products that in my opinion are usually below about the $100 mark. Sometimes uh, I guess you could class anything below realistically $300 to be somewhat low ticket. Um, but I'm gonna use the, the really low ticket stuff that you can get out there, which is the little digital guides for I don't know, seven to 10 bucks, things like that, right? Um, sometimes they pay 100% commission, so that can be very appealing. And a lot of people make this argument that they convert higher. Here is the downfall with that equation though. So here's the thing. Let's say, let's flip the switch in for a moment. Let's say that you're chasing the big magic round number. This seems to be the number that everyone wants to go after. 10 gram, 10 gram per month. Amazing number, right? So here's the, here's the deal with that though. Let's look at the numbers. So first and foremost, let's say you're aiming to sell something for 10 bucks. You're going to need, uh, what's that? A thousand, a thousand of those, a thousand customers. I wonder if I can highlight that. Whoa, there we go. A thousand. Let's put it under, whoa, what the hell? Whoa, okay, that's source code. Cool, that's what you needed to see, right? Um, anyway, so the point being is that you're gonna need to sell a thousand of those. Now, that is doable, it is the internet. There's a, it's a very big place. There's a lot of uh, opportunity out there. However, if you're brand new, I don't think that's feasible in the early stages of your business to, to look at those numbers, especially if you're not running paid traffic. Well, uh, now, here's, the, here's what most people uh, also think of. They go, okay, well, that sounds well and good, but I want to add some recurring to that because I want to build up passive income. And so what people tend to forget is that without active income, you can't have passive income unless you're spending a ton of money on buying digital assets such as uh, existing blogs or whatever the case may be or existing businesses in, in whatever form they are in you can't have the passive income. Like you have to put the actor, the work into it first, right? And so then people have this idea that, okay, let's let's use something like, I'll use ClickFunnels as an example. Now, I don't know what the current numbers are, but I know that it's roughly about 38 bucks per month uh, based off 40% of uh, $97. I, that may well change, by the way, when you're when you're watching this. So you know, don't quote my numbers exactly. I'm trying to illustrate a point. Let's round it up. Let's say it's 100 bucks, and you're getting 40 percent, so 40 bucks per month. Here's the issue. Um, again, and I'm not going to do mathematics behind this because I uh, <clears throat> can't. But uh, you're looking at about what's that? I think 200. And, actually, I can do that. Oh, I don't know. Let's say 220 odd people, whatever it is. I don't actually know the exact figures. You need about 220 of these in order to hit 10 grand per month. And again, yes, it is doable. I get that. But 
the problem is that with the recurring, I'm going to put that there as a reference point. Well, recurring, that's a new word I just made up. Uh, so with the recurring, one of the problems is that the attrition rate for these types of products is usually relatively high. And in most cases, you're going to get people that are going to bail and as in quit the product within sort of three to five months. And again, I'm, I'm throwing numbers out there. I don't know the exact stats specifically for click funnels. Of course, there's going, going to be so many factors that are tied into that. I understand that. I'm just trying to illustrate a bit of a point here. So if we look at, let's say, uh, let's be really aggressive and say that the lifetime uh, that someone remains with click funnels is, let's say, let's be really nice and say 24 months. Which is two years, right? So, um, what's the mathematics on that? I'm so bad at it. This is ridiculous, right? So, here we go 40 times 24. There we go, 960. So, someone, for example, if you, by, by contrast, if you're selling something for a high ticket where you receive $1,000 per sale, guess what? You actually only need 10 of those in order to hit your revenue goal per month. That is the equation. That's what you should be focusing on. Now, a lot of pundits will come out and say, Jamie, you're wrong. Recurring is where it's at, man. Um, but again, I'm going to highlight this here and hopefully it's going to be embarrassing if you can't actually see my calculator here, but I'm going to highlight this figure here. So after two years of being in this product, that's assuming that they make it to that point. You've still only made 960 bucks. Not bad, but again, you're going to need a whole bunch of them to make any decent sort of income out of that, right? So um, here, here's uh, where you can, I guess, blend the two. And this is probably, uh, I guess, more, more of a common thing. So forget that uh, times... 24 so you got a reference point there equals 960 so you call, call this the um lifetime value uh lifetime value of the uh, the customer there as opposed to if you're selling a a thousand dollar product of course you have a thousand bucks up front right uh oh sorry if you're th selling something more for more than a thousand bucks and you're getting a commission for it you would receive that a thousand bucks up front so you're getting the lifetime value up front right a lot, lot more beneficial now here's the truth about high ticket affiliate marketing for most people is that the reality is you might have no sales on Monday. You might have no sales on Tuesday. You might have, oh, see, kind of misspell. There we go. Ruse day. Juice. You might have no sales on Wednesday, so on and so forth. So then, okay, smart guy, how do you make this whole thing work? Well, this is where it gets really funky because now, let's say for argument's sake that you make a high ticket sale on uh, Friday. So Friday equals one thousand dollars who doesn't love that boom chocolate so here's where it gets cool though because the other days guess what you can have an offset product you can have a product for monday tuesday so on and so forth that pays you say a hundred bucks and if you've got a few of those maybe you might make one or two let's say let's be uh i, I guess a little bit more aggressive and say that you think you're going to be able to sell two one hundred dollar products uh every other day so then, of course, over the course over the duration of a month, that's when you're going to start having these uh, these huge income months because you've got maybe five of these, maybe ten of those, maybe twenty. Who knows? Maybe you're selling a couple of these here and there just to boost, uh, get get a buyers list up, um, and then maybe you get selling one of these every other day. And so then, of course, over the over the duration of a month, that's when you're hitting those. So you might have like eight of these, you might have five of these, you might have you know 20 of these and you might have uh you know whatever it is like another 20 of these or whatever the case may be so point being is that yes i mean i'm in high ticket affiliate marketing this is my what i concentrate on here is the big ones thousand bucks per sale eight hundred dollars per sale five hundred dollars per sale whatever the case may be as long as it is uh commensurate with the energy and time that i'm putting into helping that person out right so but like i say of course not everyone's in that financial situation that's why you balance that out with the hundred dollar days right so that's it okay so there you go one one thousand and one hundred there you go eleven hundred bucks that's what you're making in a month no i'm kidding but what tends to happen now this is the interesting thing especially when it comes to organic marketing is you've got no credibility to start with right and so of course you go through this process and you keep pushing I guess the the what you're doing online and you're trying to get your sales all that sort of stuff and then eventually you get one of these these bad boys over here and it's awesome because it feels amazing to make a thousand dollar day or you know five thousand dollar day whatever the case may be pretty cool stuff uh and then once you've done that guess what people it acts like a big magnet people just come out of the woodwork 
and they are drawn to you because you've validated that process they are drawn to what you are doing because you've now got credibility right and so that's how you do that and of course if they can't afford the thousand dollar thing that's completely fine you've got a hundred dollar thing to help them out with you got maybe something over here which you know, has a done for you funnel template and then you've got these little things little um on a checklist or something that you're selling over there as well so then all of a sudden you've got the whole uh, portfolio ticking along now my personal advice to anyone who's going to get rid of all the stuff here is that you should concentrate on a product that sells you 500 plus per sale uh, and have maybe one offset product that pays you about 100 bucks per sale. Let's say, let's be get, like conserved and say 50 bucks per sale, right? Now, the reason why uh, that is the case, and just, you know, again, mathematics, if you are aiming at 10K per month, just to reiterate, you're going to need 20 of them, right? 20 at 500 bucks to hit your revenue target. 20 people is all you need to find out of 1.78 billion people at the time of recording on the old Facebooks. I don't know what we've got on all the other platforms and clearly there's quite a few people in the world. So there's always, 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 always opportunities out there. Many, many, many opportunities. So that's how you stack it all together. Anyway, guys, just wanted to put that out. Hopefully that all makes sense. Appreciate you guys tuning in and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.